if you could describe this season in one word, what would it be? That's a great question. I don't know. The speechless. Yeah, speechless. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like there were a lot of different phases of the season, so it's hard to like put one word on it. When it was, you know, we had obviously the the red hot start, and then uh, obviously a disappointing end. So there's there's a lot of different feelings that that go along with the whole season. Um, so one word. Is, I, I really don't. I couldn't yeah, give you yeah. one word. I don't know. Uh, just talking with Alex. Obviously, you got got some passionate teammates, you've got some, some loyal teammates, obviously guys that want to fight together. How tough is it being a competitive athlete and um, having to just end your season like this and not have another game for a few months? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's extremely disappointing. Um, you know, obviously it's, as a competitor, you, you never want to lose. Um, but I think because of the, the feeling that was around the group for, for the whole year, uh, we, we really did believe we could we could make a, a, a great playoff push and, and maybe come home with some silverware. Um, so I think that just it definitely leaves a bitter taste in our mouth knowing that, that we came up short and had a first round exit. Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously no one's no one's happy with that. Um, what you said about the the, the players though and, and the, the the teammates that that we have um, or that I have, um, you know, there there's no one you'd rather go to battle with. I heard Alex talking about it in his interview, and, and he's right. You know, it's, we got an incredible group here, incredible group of guys. Um, and, and, you know, I'd love to, to play another season with all 30 of those guys. Um, and then we'll see how it shapes up next year. Hopefully there's there's a lot of, you know, players coming back. Lastly for me, um, you, you've, you've been here for the like, longest of anybody. Um, as you look at kind of these last few years, you know, first round playoff X, playoff X for the last three years, um, do you notice like any patterns that have, are starting to form or maybe reasons that you can see why this happens year after year or is it, do you, are they separate and not really related? No, I think every year has its own, you know, every year is different. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I really would say I see a pattern there. Um, Justin, uh, thanks for your time. I want to kind of take a look back at your season individually, um, obviously making an, an all-star game, uh, which is a nice accolade for you individually. Um, this year, unfortunately, no goals, um, but your defensive ability seemed to be really good, obviously getting that, that all-star appearance. Um, how, do you, how do you feel your season went, especially with there's a lot of uh, – exchanging arounds with, with different center backs, playing with you. Um, was it? Do you find it at all difficult to kind of play with different guys in and out of games? No, I think, you know, obviously we have, uh, I think we had a lot of rotation for, for the whole year um, in, in a lot of different positions. Um, and I think I think the coaching staff and, and all the players did, did a great job of, of, you know, whoever was on the pitch. We tried to keep the roles and responsibilities the same. Um, and, and you know, paint a clear picture for everyone. Um, and I thought, you know, I played with, I don't know, Q, Vera, Javain, um, I don't know, Bodie, yeah, Oviedo. I think I was injured for those ones. I think they were. Um, but you know, I, I thought whoever stepped in came in and, and did a great job. Um, and you know, for, for me, it's just trying to do the same thing every game and play good defense, communicate a lot, and and. You know, they're trying to do the same, and yeah, I thought they all did great. Yeah, in the season with a win against Vancouver, there's a stretch before that where you have a few difficult games, um, and then obviously these last two games against Minnesota really difficult to kind of digest. Um, how, I guess, how did you feel in respect towards the chemistry of the players here at the end of the season? Yeah, um, you know, I think. Obviously, we were, we were scoring a lot more goals in the in the first part of the season, um, but I thought the the players we brought in were came in and, and adjusted pretty quickly. Um, 
And yeah, it, it's again, like I said, it's it's obviously super disappointing to to end the year how we did. Uh, but that's you know, when, when you get rid of players and bring other players in, you, you, that's so you never know what's gonna happen, you know. Um, and unfortunately, um, we couldn't quite get that same that same output at the beginning of the year. Um, but I think with the with a full preseason again, like it's it's like sort of how when Chicho came in two years ago, he, he came in and kind of had to figure out the team and all that. And I think this this next preseason is going to be a lot of the same for the guys that we just brought in and. Hopefully we we start next season off the same way we do, the same way we did this season in our firing and all cylinders. So thanks, Justin. Yep. What's what's more motivating that early that early preseason because you guys are you know headed off to Champions Cup and all that that's obviously pretty exciting right there mm -hmm. or the early finish kind of wanting to get sort of this serious taste out of your mouth. Yeah, I mean for me it's always about looking forward. So I would say the the Champions Cup. Um, yeah, um, I mean, again, as an athlete, you always you're always looking forward to the next game and to the next opportunity to prove yourself. Um, and and yeah, I, I, again, I'm always looking forward rather than backwards. So I'm, I'm looking forward to you know having another exciting year and then hopefully, again, the, the same goal as every year is, is hopefully winning something. So looking forward to trips to Mexico or Honduras. Or <laughs> yeah, Belize. yeah. Yeah, wherever, wherever, as long as we win. <laughs>